studio vlog. Yeah, ja, nu har det svenska istället. I am so freaking tired today. I don't know what's going on, but I am super tired. <laughs> I wanted to vlog yesterday. I had two clients yesterday that I thought, you know, it would be fun to film, but it was a bad day yesterday. It was just not the time to film. But today, the sun is shining. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. And I have one client. And then I don't really know what will happen. So we were planning to actually practice for a gig that we have with Star Kisset in March. Later today. But then JT, I think he's sick. But then he felt better. So I don't know if we are going to do that or not. So if we are, then I have one client and then I will probably just have something to eat and then go straight over to Christian's studio. If not, then I will stay here and I need to create a new video faster than the speed of light because the new light elegance buttercream collection for spring i think it's gonna arrive here today because they sent it two days ago and they sent sent it over with express delivery because they had some problem with the labeling or something so it was super 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 delayed which means that i have no time at all to create the video so that's gonna be interesting if it gets here today then i will probably film and edit and do everything today if i can um yeah exciting we'll see how that goes so yeah, in one way, I really want to go over to Christian's studio and um, rehearse, but I really need to get the video done. I have so much work here for the rest of the week. I have two clients tomorrow, two clients on Friday, and then I have a class on Saturday, and then I have like Sunday left to do the video, and it has to be uploaded on Monday, and then I have no time for Light Elegance to approve it, so... Uh, I need to pretty much finish it today or tomorrow the latest and I work super late tomorrow so yay <laughs> yay I'll make it work though so I'm having my breakfast now my client's gonna be here in about 20 minutes after that after the client I want to show you what my new assistant did with my studio for those of you who like organization porn, you don't want to miss this. So I'm just gonna finish my breakfast. I'm gonna do the climb, and then it's organization porn time. So yeah, stick around. Crap. I just remembered that I need to promote the new podcast episode with Nagaponda. We released the um, new episode tonight so i have to promote it now and well i got 20 minutes so i'll just make it work
I just left and uh, I have to say the nails mwah, we um, really enjoyed doing them uh, she was here for quite a while but we had a lot of fun and uh, super happy with the results and I'm gonna start editing the pictures so, no, maybe not today. Maybe later this week. I'll see. But I actually got the package from Light Elegance. So this is the new spring collection. The um, buttercream spring collection. So we're going to open that. Depending if this video comes out before Monday or not. You are not going to see it though. But <laughs> I am. But let's open it together. Oh. I actually got two things. This is also new. <laughs> so if this video is posted before Monday, this is gonna be all blurred for you. If not, then uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. And let me look at the colors. Ooh, pretty. They're like um, a bit muted. I like that. Oh, I always like that. This is gonna be fun to look through. And then I got some other cool things. Also, depending if when this video comes out, this is a brand new product. And it is called Jimmy J and it's a builder in a bottle if this is after this is released then you are gonna be able to see it now uh, if not then uh, everything I just said was uh, beeped and this is blurred so this is uh, all the uh, information I need for the video this is for the Jimmy gel is for fast strong and flexible extensions in a bottle so it's a soak of building gel in a bottle um, can be used under soak off gel polish or hard gel polishes. Cool, so I guess you can do like a little bit shorter extensions with this. Well, it's gonna be fun to try out. And then we have all the other information. Like, it's like when you get packages like this, you get like a press release thing with all the information about the products. So here I have that. So I can use this for my video. And this is for the buttercream uh, collection. So I have all the pictures and everything that I need. I am so hungry. I need to go and grab something to eat before I do anything else because I was... I was actually almost fainting right before my client left. It was so weird. We were taking pictures of the nails and everything and I got so dizzy and I thought seriously for a second that I was gonna faint. That usually never happens to me. I don't know if I have a migraine attack coming or what that was. I definitely need to eat. So we're gonna do that. And I have about 10 minutes before lunch closes at one of the cafes right down here. So I need to go now. So see you in a bit. Uh, so I just came back, got my lunch, pasta, love carbs, you know that. And yes, this is definitely a migraine attack coming very soon while well, it started. So I'm gonna grab some of my pills. Oh, okay, loud noises. It's a big no right now. I'm gonna take my pills and uh, hopefully I will be able to stop it from getting massive because I can feel it's a big one coming. And I don't have time to lay on the couch and have a migraine attack right now because I need to film that video and I also want to show you the organization porn around here. So I'm just gonna eat, pop some pills, hope for the best and uh, that's it. The migraine's getting worse. Mm. I think I'll just try to work at least to kind of think about something else. The food was really good. I'm just gonna throw this in the dishwasher and then I think I want to show you around a little bit. And I also want to show you my new Ready Guana corner that looks really scary and freaky and weird but so fantastic all right guys it is finally time for some organization porn that should probably be a new like segment for my youtube channel however the problem is that i hate organizing and that is why this is so much fun because i recently got a new assistant well new i got an assistant she helps me out with my classes two weeks ago she was here and she helped me out she is an organization 
and uh, freak and she was very excited when she saw all the drawers and everything I have so she went through it all and now my studio is so freakingly organized that I don't even know my name hmm. I'm gonna show you this my closet first and then we're gonna move on to my station <laughs> I'm gonna show you all of the before and after pictures as well but just look at this this is where I keep all my um, technical stuff maybe not nail related and now it looks like this and you can see that she's uh, been going nuts with my labeling maker and I appreciate that very much and you can see how extremely organized well you see the before picture right now this is like a dream coming true just look at that it is so nice she did an amazing job with this okay so that was that now we're gonna move on to my little workstation right here because I have a lot of drawers and she managed to clean them all plus my color racks or color drawers mini color drawers so they were all in here but the organization was maybe not well it was a little bit mixed up it was hard to find the stuff that i was looking for she organized everything in all the drawers and then she put little labels up so i got white here and then it goes all the way down here and then we got nude and then it goes all the way down here we got pink and so on and then also i have it organized so i start with the lightest pink for example it goes all the way down here and then comes back up in and blah, 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 blah. here should be the darkest like pinkish but you get me it goes yeah so here we gonna have the darkest pink and then we got some yeah well actually it is pinkish but it's like pink orange red yeah well anyway she did a great job and then it goes all the way down here all the way down to black so these are amazing and she did as i said you know a fantastic job with this also we managed to clear this area out because right here i kept all my buttercreams in like a big pot of nothingness so we took all that well we she took all that and then she managed to clean out some of the drawers that I have here and then okay for all of you organization uh, lovers out there just take a deep breath because this is <laughs> So nice. Da 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 Look at that. Yeah. This is my drawer. And it's so pretty. So this is actually ever buttercream that's ever created. And actually some more because some of them I got more than one, as you can see here. Very nicely made. Uh, I got some more space back here so I can actually fill up my new collection back there when I'm done with it. Okay, say goodbye to the pretty door. Bye! So up here, this one was filled with just random files. We took all the files that I don't need and use and put them in the um, like student stations in the drawers right there so they can use it when they need to. And then here we just, well, this was pretty much organized. We just made it a little bit prettier, but this is like my business uh, drawer. I keep all my like receipts and work glasses and notes and pens and whatever and that's the label maker he has been working hard in here this was an explosion with things that i don't even know what it was but now this is like my personal drawer so i got stuff that i need for filming uh like powder hair stuff i also keep my camera right here for now I, well i just started and i think i like having it here because it's easy to grab when i'm taking pictures of my clients now so i'm probably gonna leave it here usually it lives in another closet with all the technical like photo stuff but i think that i like having it here this was also an explosion and now it's very organized and neat. This is kind of like my tip drawer right now. So I keep the tips here, like all the decoration tips, all the tip holders from Moveler. And then in here I got some decorated tips that I use for my classes, stuff like that. Super happy about that. You can see that I got lots of space right here, which I normally don't have any because I tend to fill up every space that I have everywhere we have another drawer okay so look at this this is my work drawer uh, this was also a mess explosion and actually this little setup thing uh i was inspired by june one of my colleagues from the travel team the show team she always does this uh at the shows in her drawers so i thought that it was uh well a nice thing to do so I, we have all the clears we have all the natural like the fibers and everything like that we got the pinks and the whites and all the bottles 
stuff. Very easy to find everything. So I love that. And down here we got some more files. This was crammed with, I don't know, it was so many files that I didn't even use, like really old ones. Of course we didn't throw everything out. Well, the really old ones we did, but most of them are actually in um, there. And here is where I keep all my gel paints, like that. And then I got the new collections here, so whenever I get a new one, I'll put it down here. And then when I have filmed it, it's gonna go in here. I will have to call Emily to do that, <laughs> because I am not gonna do that. Because, uh, yeah, that's usually what happens, and that's why my drawers look like crap. And here is one of my favorite drawers. It's my Swarovski drawer. So we put all the Swarovski crystals in here. And she organized everything. She even put all the stuff that I hadn't put into the containers in here. So super nice. It's very pretty. Very uh, usable drawer because I use crystals a lot right now actually. So it's nice to have. And then down here we got the drawer with all the gels that I use for filming. Because I need to have an extra setup with everything. So that it looks nice and uh, clean. So I keep them all down here. This is not an organ organization thing but I want to show you anyway because it's one of my new favorite things in my salon right now and I love it so much. It is actually also from my assistant because she has a web shop with like interior design stuff. She told me about this and I wanted it so she brought me one. Well I got it. I bought it from her. So let me show you my new little friend. Say hello to my alien egg. Actually you know what I'm gonna talk about this as well. So this is my red iguana corner. I I got all the different hands in here. It looks very creepy, but also very pretty. So I've got half hands, got full hands, fingers, and of course my huge Swarovski crystal. And in here I also keep the rings uh, that I have here and also some chatons. All these hands and the rings and the box can be found at wolfair.se we are the official distributor for sweden but also the nordic countries and we're going to start shipping international um well i think beginning of march we were hoping end of february but i think it's going to be the beginning of march all the hands we can ship to pretty much all europe soon but we can ship to sweden right now uh if you want to buy them outside of europe you will have to go to red iguana i'll put the link um. down here as well of course and then i got these flowers so they were not here before and they're fake but they're really pretty and i'm gonna use them for filming and photography but then you know i also wanted to keep them here so you can see them of course so i got this really nice vase from a flower shop and i think that they look amazing in this corner and this is yeah my alien egg this is an aroma diffuser and you can keep it like that if you want to and just uh let the air shoot out of it yeah or you can put some scents in it so here i got my favorite it's the vanilla and peony uh, i've actually ordered like a bunch of different other scents so yeah excited about that so we're gonna turn this on because now the cool thing is that it actually shuts off when it doesn't have any water left in it so we're gonna add more water and then we're gonna turn it off and you're gonna see what it looks like when it is turned on because oh it's so pretty okay so i just filled it up with water Water, like that and you have like a max line in there well basically what it does is that when you get the steam it's gonna create a better air environment in your room so it's especially good when you are working a lot with dust which we do as nail techs so you can leave it like that and just have the water uh, shooting out of it well the steam or you can take some scent whatever scent you like and then you just drop in like two drops depending on how much scent two one come on one two three go oh there we go one two three and then we're gonna take this little thing right here like that place the top the glass top right up here and then uh there's a little button down here so if you press it once it will start shifting into different colors if you stop it when you have a color that you like well you can press one more time and you will stop it and add a specific color if you press it one more time it's gonna be not lit up but it's gonna shoot the steam up and then the fourth time it's gonna be completely shut off so let's just um, look at the different colors shall we I wish you could smell this because it smells amazing
Yeah, and then it keeps going like that. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the steam. You see the steam? Let me see the steam. Well, the steam is there. I can see it, but I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there you go. There's the steam. And it smells so good in here right now. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so good. Also, actually, when I was getting those flowers, I also got this candy, candy, candle holder. And I'm obsessed with, uh, with these. And I actually got a white one for our bedroom at home. I think they're so stinking cute. And I love the color because it matches with this and the flowers. But can you see how pretty that is? for the organization porn for today. I have about 30 minutes to film the video. I'm gonna do it now. My migraine is still there. I'm a bit dizzy. I have a hard time speaking. Luckily, there's editing, so you won't have to um, see that. I will start the filming and then I will leave for Kristen's studio and then we're gonna rehearse. So hopefully that will go well with the migraine, but hopefully, you know, it's gonna be okay by then. I'm gonna do some tea, I think. By the way, I forgot to show you something. So I did some organization as well. So I put all my merch in here actually so that my students can check it out when they're here if they want to try something out like with the uh, sizes and colors and everything so I just put everything here and I think it looks really cute if I was gonna do the video or if I was gonna do this fantastic mess that I got going but as a nail tech you will always end up last on the priority list and same thing here we're gonna do the video and that's a wrap for scene one filming <coughs> the video like this I'm gonna do some b-roll um, stuff tomorrow so that's when I kind of create a um, flower scene on here and then I film it and uh, stuff like that but I'm, I'm gonna do that tomorrow my brain is feels like it's melting it feels better now because the pills have started to kick in but then instead I get the side effects from the pills, which is that I get very, very, very tired, like slow. It almost feels like you have been crying for hours and then after you are done crying, that's almost a feeling you get with these pills. But you get really tired and slow, so uh, I'm not gonna be able to do anything else right now in the studio. And you know what, I got 10 minutes left before I have to leave, so I think that's, um, I think that's a wrap. So we're gonna clean this up a little bit. It's really nothing to clean. And then we're gonna pick up Martin at my parents' house. And then we are gonna go to Christian's studio and start the rehearsal with uh, Star Cassette. Mm -hmm. 
Vad va, va ska du ha? Ska du ha det? Ja, vi får se på bollen. Nej, men vad ska vi se på bollen? Oj, fes du? Va? <laughs> fes du Martin? Oh, we just got back home. We were all pretty tired. I still have my cold, so I have a hard time singing. JT was a bit sick. Christian was also a bit tired. But I think we gave it a good shot anyway. So I think it was, it was good that we did it. But we definitely need to uh, work a little bit more on that before our first gig. So our first gig is gonna be March 8th. Super exciting. Not an open event though, it's gonna be closed. I'm just gonna finish up the vlog right here. Christian is uh, down at the store, he's gonna grab us some dinner. We're just gonna sit here and maybe watch some Big Brother and uh, that's it. So really hope you enjoyed following me around today in my studio and uh, don't forget to follow me on my other social media. I'm still sore in my throat from the singing blood and uh, hmm. <coughs> And don't forget to check out my Teespring swag store and I will see you guys in the next video Say bye to Martin He looks to say he do okay He do Whoa.